wanted to share a really quick and easy bread recipe that we love. We actually serve it at the table. Um, I have it in the Magnolia Table Volume 2 cookbook that's coming up soon. It's the zucchini bread recipe. And I know that sounds like when I tell my kids zucchini bread, they always get nervous. But Ella, who's on the other side of the camera, do you love the zucchini bread for breakfast? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. It's one of those recipes that for a busy school week, it's nice to have in the morning. We end up serving it warm with butter on top, a little egg on the side, and it's just this really simple and easy quick breakfast. So to get started, um, you wanna start with two medium zucchini, um, about three cups of thickly shredded zucchini. So what I'm gonna do here is go ahead and chop it up just a little bit and I'm gonna put it in the food processor. Can I like I the other one? What? You want to cut the other one? Sure, you can cut. Ella loves to cut things. You can cut the other one. While she's doing that, Ella, watch your fingers. I'm gonna do one and one fourth cup of vegetable oil, two cups sugar, four large eggs, one tablespoon vanilla extract. Okay, it's ready to go. And I'm going to blend this until it's thickly shredded. up and you're gonna squeeze out oh. wow do you see that Ella mm -hmm. I think we're good we're gonna let this set here and now I said this blend we've already done we've whisked it till it's smooth and now you're gonna move over to the dry mix the dry mix is three cups flour which I've already poured in there two teaspoons of cinnamon two teaspoons of baking powder one teaspoon baking soda and a half teaspoon kosher salt. I'm gonna mix that together. I like to combine it kind of slowly so it makes everything a little smoother. Okay. Now I'm gonna use one of these bowls and I'm gonna put in chopped walnuts. I'm gonna fold that into the bread mixture. My kids love to eat banana bread. Um, and like I said, when I said that this was zucchini bread, they were kind of like gross, zucchini and bread. But for some odd reason, the zucchini is mild. It adds a wonderful texture. And that is now the new banana bread. Okay, so now you wanna pour this mixture in a Preferably nine by nine pan. I don't know where mine is. I think I have a casserole in it. So this is an eight by eight square. We're gonna be fine. Okay, so you're gonna wanna bake this at 350 degrees for 40 to 50 minutes, depending on your oven at home. And then also just inserting something. If it comes out clean, it's ready to go. You don't wanna over um, bake this. And then when it comes out, you wanna let it cool on a cooling rack for 15, 30 minutes. <laughs> okay, so remember when I said that one part about like, who cares what size pan you have? For sure, that matters. That's why it's in the book. Let me show you what's happening to my zucchini bread. It's like overflowing. So, the good news is, is it smells wonderful. And I've got to cook it a little longer because it's obviously a lot thicker than it should be. So do a nine by nine pan or bigger. Don't do an eight by eight like I did. <laughs> 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 Yummy. <laughs> <laughs> 